good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the mission of the delegation of Western Armenia and the homeland Mush, the OSC Minsk group co-chairs discussed the issue of Artsakh without Russia. Red Cross representatives met with Armenian captives handled Azerbaijan. In a footstep of Andrani Geritan's book, notes from a trip to Darsim, the Aurora Prize 2022 will be awarded in October in Venice. The unique Guartian temple in Van was looted by Sivs, Gor Karapetian, silver medalist in a European Junior Judo Championship. The delegation of Western Armenia continuing its mission also had meetings in Mush with Armenian residents who were able to preserve their Armenian identity. It is worth remembering that in the history of Armenian people, the people of Sasuna and Mush especially distinguished themselves with their courage and patriotism. Being in Mush, it is a great mission for every Armenian to visit the monastery of St. Karapet, which was also done by our delegates. Before reaching the ruins of monastery, the delegates stopped by the famous Suluk Bridge. Built on the Aratani River, which is located on a Mush Hanus road, this magnificent bridge was built in 867 by an Armenian. The bridge has a length of 190 meters and is built on 12 arches. Then the members of the delegation went to the monastery of St. Karapet, which is now located on a church of the village of Chengili. On the side of the monastery of St. Karapet, there was previously a Mehian, which was turned into a monastery during the adaptation of Christianity in the 4th century. The monastery of St. Karapet in Western Armenia was considered the largest and most cherished shrine. It was not only the most famous monastery in the world, Taron, but also the greatest monastery known to the all Armenians after St. Ejmiadzin. It is impossible to imagine everything that our delegates were able to record without excitement. Only a few ruins remain of once majestic monastery structure, and the internal structure of the church has been turned into a warehouse. Armenian Khachkars, formerly belonging to the monastery complex, were clearly visible on the walls of nearby houses. The Armenian co-chairs of OSC Minsk Group, Andrew Schofer, discussed the issue of Artsakh with his colleagues. This is stated in a message of the Bureau of U.S. State Department of Europe and Eurasia. It is unfortunate that the Russian co-chairs did not accept the invitation. We look forward to the continuation of the work of Minsk Group, the statement reads. The Baku office of the International Committee of the Red Cross visited Armenians detained in Azerbaijan. During their regular meeting held in June, a representative of the ICRC helped through letters, phone calls and video messages of the prisoners to keep the contact with their families. Zara Matuni, head of communication programs of the International Committee of the Red Cross in Armenia, gave the information to Lorer. We want to remind you that Azerbaijan claims the captivity of 38 people. Western Armenia is concerned about the return of captivity and the international community should give a clear and harsh assessment of the actions of the occupier of Azerbaijan. The original information about the city of Dersim in Western Armenia is a rich source of information. Andranik Yeritian's work notes from a trip to Dersim enriches this list. In the book first published in Armenian 1900 in Tbilisi, the author presents the details of the trip to Dersim in the late 19th century and early 20th century. You can read more about the book on our website in the article of Mehmet Yimas Savashchen. The Aurora Prize Award Ceremony in 2022 in its accompanying special events will be held in Venice, Italy from October 14 to 16, 2022. The leaders of the world in a field of humanities will gather in one place to pay tribute to heroes and strengthen the next generation of people who have extended a helping hand. Every year, the Aurora Prize winners divided amount 1 million US dollars on behalf of the survivors of genocide of the Armenians as a sign of gratitude to their rescuers. Aurora has had a significant Significant impact, having already changed the lives more than 2.7 million people in need. The special event will end in the Aurora Prize Award Ceremony in 2022, which will be held on St. Hazar Island on the Congregation of Mkhitaryans in one of the most iconic centers of Armenian culture in the world. Western Armenia is glad to accept this initiative aimed at saving human lives. However, it should be remembered that many of our compatriots live in Western Armenia and the prize winner should direct some part of money to improve the lives of indigenous Armenians. 
Archaeologists recently discovered 2,700 Yato Tirartian temple looted by treasure hunters 28 kilometers northwest of the city of Van in western Armenia. The treasure hunters, having dug a hole about 5 meters deep, damaged the building on the walls of which there were forex calls. The criminals considered that the church where they have looted was a church and immediately informed the dictorate of the Museum of Van about the action they have committed. The head of numerous archaeological excavations in Van, archaeologist and lecturer at the University of Kastanapol, Erkan Konyar, after studying the first images taken in this area, said, according to the images, it may be Urartian cathedral dating from 7th century. Very close to here is the castle of Urartian King Rusa II, and the building may have something to do with this fortress. The church of the temple complex looked like a place of worship. I think it was dedicated to the Urartian King Khaldi. Knowing that it's important how many items the treasure hunters took away from here, Konyar noted that the Urartian temples are very rich in finds and that most likely there will be shells, hamlets and weapons dedicated to the god Khaldi. Western Armenia knows with regret this case and the international community should respond to it. However, on the way to the destruction of values, the treasure hunters revealed the ancient Armenian culture built before Christ, which proves the fact of the native Armenians. The European Junior Judo Championship took place in Perek, Khorvartia. Gor Karapetian, the representative of Armenia, showed himself perfectly in the World Championship. According to the press service of the Judo Federation of Armenia, Karapetian wore four times and won a silver medal. Western Armenia congratulates Gor Karapetian on winning a silver medal and keeping the country's honor high. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.